So over the last year, I have shared my outfits every single day on Instagram. And one thing that I've really tried to do during that time is to find artisans. I absolutely love to find things that people have handmade, handcrafted, and um, poured their love and like their expertise into making something. And then I love just being able to wear that all day. So that's really why I've focused in on like brands that do this, that aren't necessarily fast fashion, like that are more crafted over generations. One of my favorite brands that has done this has been Nisolo. <laughs> I pretty much only wear Nisolo shoes because I'm just such a fan, not only of their practices, but they just also just have amazing shoes. They're really comfortable and they're versatile for different types of outfits. So this is the brand that I want to start perhaps doing a video series on where I just show like artisans, where I show a feature brand that I'm really proud of, that I'm excited to be able to share with you guys. And so I wanna do this like a feature Friday. It won't be like every Friday, but I definitely want to kind of spearhead that direction and like bring more attention to brands that you probably have never heard of, if they're even a brand at all. Sometimes it might just be like an artist, which would be so cool. So let's just get started. So I have nine different pairs of shoes that I just wanna run through really quick. They're all still for sale and they're all uh, linked down in the description below. It's just amazing that they're still for sale. Even some of them I bought like well over a year ago. The first pair is the Dari boots. I would say if you're gonna get one pair of shoes that these ones will last through most seasons in most weather and can be worn in different, like I've worn this with a long vintage Dior skirt and I've worn them with shorts. <laughs> so. You can do just different things with this. So these Dari boots are um, just a nude ankle boot and it's got a zipper down the side. It's got a stacked leather heel and all of their soles are very soft. So whenever you try on their shoes, just be sure that you use like a carpeted surface so that like no wear and tear happens in case you need to exchange sizes or anything. I also like that all of these are, there's no like plastic or anything underneath. Like, let me just tell you, I've got these Camilla slides. Any pair of slides that I've ever worn, they all get a little scuffed up on the top, including these ones. But what drives me nuts with other pairs of slides is that if it's not made like really with real fabrics inside it, then right here where it's scuffing, you would normally see like white, you know, whatever material they made the inside with always shows. But with these, it's just like, you can tell if it scuffs, there's still just the same material inside it, same color, everything. Like no one, unless they came in really close, would even notice that my slides are a little scuffed. So these ones, these Camilla slides are six and a half. The Dari boots are a size seven. So I went a little bit up in those just in case I wanted to wear socks. I really like, like six and a half is my true size. I liked it that it wasn't like too tight on me or anything. They're just very comfortable. They feel like slippers. I would say all of these really feel like slippers, so <laughs> that's really fun. So next I got some Ava Ballerina flats. Um, I got a couple of colors. So one is the tan and this one I got originally. It's got a little bit more wear and tear because I've had it so long. This is the beige. So both are six and a half. I'll put all of my sizes down below so you guys can see it. I went true to size on these because if they, were too big, they would just slip off my ankle. If they were too tight, you know, that wouldn't be great either. They do stretch a little bit. So you might notice that they come a little bit tight. They might feel tight when you first get them, but they do stretch out, it's leather. Yeah, I just love that the pointed toe gives me a little bit more height. It visually looks like I'm, I'm taller than I am when I wear that. In fact, in my last video, I was wearing these because they do help me look taller and that's what that whole video is about. So this next pair is one of the first shoes from Nisolo that I ever got, which is the Mariella Mule. It's still in pretty good condition. Naturally, you're gonna have a little bit of wear over here on the side, but these ones are over, yeah, a year and maybe a year and a half was about when I got them a year and a half ago. So I do take a little bit of like a, like a damp cloth and I just rub down the, the inside insoles. And then I do take like a Nubuck leather cleaner to the outside, give it a good clean sometimes, just for record, but these are holding up really good. 
I'm so happy with them. I got them true to size. You know, again, a nude shoe just, ugh, I just love the look of a nude shoe because it just makes me look taller. So I really try to reach for shoes like that. But after loving that pair so much, I ended up getting a black pair as well. This is one of the only pairs of like leather shoes that I have that is polished leather on the outside. I bought these pair, um, it was around fall. And so that really brought me through fall and winter is when I especially wear this pair. I like to wear these with like just a light sock on for colder weather. Of course, I live in Virginia. So and if I'm visiting Wisconsin, this might not keep me as warm, <laughs> but um, I, you know, where I live, it makes sense to wear them in colder months. So I would say that the Mariellas are extremely comfortable, um, especially because they have a heel. Like they fit my foot really good. It's nice to have like a little bit of a heel if I'm just not wanting to wear a full on heel. It's just very versatile, very comfortable, something I could wear all day at an office. So for days where I do want to wear a heel, I love these Palomas. I just love that right here at the ball of my foot, there's actually a little bit more cushion, which I've never experienced from other Nisolo shoes. So they've really thought about that, especially because this has like even more of a heel than the others. To have that extra cushion just makes such a difference. Um, I also love the peep toe, and it's just kind of fun, you know? I don't necessarily like paint my toenails anymore. Is that weird? <laughs> but I just really love the look of these. They have a very like natural look to them, and I just think that's great. If I'm gonna wear a heel, it's kind of nice to have it more on the neutral side. Anytime I'm wearing my cams, like my sailor pants, I love to wear like a taller heel with them. And so yeah, I just think that that's a really great look. So a couple more pairs. These are my Amas. I just think that this is really great if you want like more of a leisurely look. There's no heel to them really, and they stay on my foot really well. I mentioned these in my favorites video, just because like I'm really obsessed with them. They just seem to go I've said this a thousand times about all these shoes, but they seem to go with everything. I love that they have a really unique like woven pattern on them. And they also have a darker insole. So that means that they're not gonna show dirt as much. I just really like them a lot. They, they have just such a unique look. I just love them. So those ones are really great for like summertime. I like to wear them a lot with like shorts too. That's a really great look. I got inspired by that actually with Yoli and Otis is another great brand. On their model, they always wear these shoes that look a lot like that. Love to wear that for summer, but another great heel that I like to wear for summertime. This is my newest pair. It's my Sarita wedges. So. As a wedge, it's got this beautiful like wood texture as well as this like raw leather look. These ones are super comfortable because there's not much of an arch to them. So it's not like I'm walking in heels all day. If I wear these tight enough, then I really do not have any problem walking in them. And I, also a bonus is that because I'm shorter, one thing that I always struggle with is like if I'm in an, in an airplane or if I am in a theater, a lot of times I'll get like pain in my knees because I'm sitting and like my feet don't touch the floor. <laughs> so <laughs> these ones will allow me to like sit comfortably in a movie theater is what I'm really looking forward to. It's just kind of a perk. And I can really stand to have a little extra height sometimes. So not opposed to that at all. I also noticed that this is the first pair by them that I've had that has like rubber on the soles. So that was kind of nice because it allows you a little bit more stability than otherwise you might have at that height. I think it's really important. So these ones I got in a six and a half. And then by the way, my Amas I got in a six and a half as well. Pretty much everything I get in a six and a half. <laughs> So that's pretty much it for my collection. I think that all of these, um, they have their different purposes. I've been really like selective with my shoes. So I'm selective about the brand. Once I find a really good brand, I'm pretty loyal. So that's why I have like the majority, this is the majority of my shoe collection in general. I take care of my shoes with a few different products. Let me just run through them really quick. So this first one is a Kiwi Express Shine. Um, this is just a leather cleaner that just, you know, they have little wipes and I'm able to just like any of my polished leather, I can touch them up or I use them on the insoles. I can shine them up before I actually polish or shine anything. I use like a little cloth like this where I can just get it damp and just make sure that there's like no excess dirt 
on anything. So for Nubuck, it's, you know, I'm really careful. I don't like to over clean them or anything, but after I make sure that there's like no dirt around any of the edges, I use a suede and Nubuck cleaner. I got this one years ago from GH Bass & Co. Um, I actually got this for Zach, but <laughs> I pretty much use it now <laughs> myself. So I will just take a little bit of foam from that and put it on this little tiny brush scrub it in really good like along all of the new buck and then i just let it air dry then once it air dries then i take a little buffer brush like this one um, and i just make sure that all of the suede is brushed out to its original nap i also can use this one on my polished leather stuff just to, if i want to give it a little bit more of a buff or shine so I can link these things down below. But that's pretty much my shoe collection. The intention behind it is that I want all of these pieces to be classics that I can keep in my closet for a very long time. I like to take care of them. I think that if like anything needs to go to the cobbler, I would send them to ye old cobbler and like get them fixed up. <laughs> so that's kind of how I want to take care and treat my clothes. Having a company like Nisolo, the stuff that they released last year is still for sale. Like it's not like I'm going to buy something and immediately it's out of style. Like this stuff has been made for generations and anytime that I can wear products that people take pride in, like I can feel that pride and I just feel like I've taken part in something. A lot of the craftsmen who make these, like hand make these shoes, they are, I've heard, have kids that they're sending to college for the first time in that whole community's existence. So you're just providing a fair wage to everybody in the company and I just love that. I love to know like where my money is going. So anytime I can like find that out, if companies are more transparent, then I definitely want to like take part in that. So anyways, I hope you guys have an amazing Friday. Let me know if you like this as a series because I have plenty of other people, other companies that I would love to be able to feature like for jewelry, clothes, anything like that. So give this video a thumbs up and I will see you guys on Monday. I'll see you then, bye.